Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Floor Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to uh, discuss the uh, deck board options that are available within the Floor Plugin. So to start with here, let's go ahead and throw down a grid using the grid tool, and just so we have some guides to work against. And then I'm just going to go ahead, and I think I've already set up most of the options here that I want to set up, but um, I think I'll update a couple of them here. So right off the bat, you can see we have a lot of advanced options. And each one of these advanced options, as you turn it on, you will notice that um, that segment will be shown with all of its associated parameters. So let's go ahead and turn on the uh, deck boards. And we're going to go ahead and leave off everything else here for now. Uh, you know, We could talk about bridging and blocking, but I think I've already done that in one of the videos. So let's just go ahead and uh, leave everything here as uh, default. And then let's draw like a little simple rectangle here and of course uh, okay so the first things I want you to notice is <clears throat> with deck boards the deck boards will typically well always be perpendicular drawn perpendicular to the joist direction so as you can see we've got joists that are going in the X direction and the boards are drawn perpendicular which makes sense um, let's go ahead and edit this now, and let's just go ahead and swap our joist direction here real quick just to demonstrate that. Okay, so now you notice that um, the joists are going in the Y direction and the deck boards are in the X direction. Okay, so that is, um, you know, your standard kind of configurations that you normally encounter, but there is uh, situations where you may want to angle these um, for decorative purposes or other reasons. So let's take a look at that. Um, right here I've added the second from the bottom is board rotation and by default this will be zero degrees. So like I said, it, whether or not your deck is uh, joist directions are zero or 90, the boards will be 90 degrees to those. So by adjusting now the board rotation that will basically adjust the board rotation from the default whatever kind of the neutral direction is. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just change this back to zero um, just so I can <clears throat> I guess I'm just used to looking in that way but um, it doesn't really matter. Okay so let's start with 45 um, let's go ahead and update that. So now you can see that the deck boards are 45 degrees to the uh, standard direction and of course if you want to go the other direction then you would go 135 and that should go the other direction 45 okay and same thing um, you've got 15 30 and the corresponding reverse directions um, 150 and 165 so let's go 130 or 30 sorry right okay Let's go back to 45, and I want to show one other thing about this. So there will be situations maybe where um, you know this, the deck boards may align, where you have this little bit here. You don't want that little bit there. So what you can do is you can obviously use your board offset feature, which will offset all the deck boards a certain amount. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we do one inch. Okay. Actually, um, Sorry, that was the board overhang. I changed it. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. I mean, I wanted to change this parameter. Sorry. Okay, and now you see we've sh we've shifted that. Now, by the way, you can shift this negative as well. So let's go ahead and just try that to show that. And we go ahead and negative one inch. And so now you get a little bit bigger triangle here, not so small. You know, maybe you want to split the difference from this end to that end. Let's just try like two inches, for instance. So now you see the whole thing has shifted, and then we've got a smaller triangular piece there, or a little bit bigger triangular piece, and maybe not, you know, maybe you go three inches. Let's try that. All right, I mean, we could spend all day adjusting this, but you, I think you get the point. So they're basically equal now. All right, so that is your board offset. So <clears throat> that allows you to globally shift all of the deck boards, you know, by a certain amount. All right, um, let's go ahead now and just drop back everything back to default and by the way you can combine all these uh, parameters and change them up as you see fit but I just want to keep things kind of simple here okay so I did add an overhang feature and so like let's say you have a deck and you've got boards overhanging 
Um, and this will overhang all the way around, just so you know. So now I've added a one inch overhang and notice these boards on the on the longitudinal side as well as on the trans transverse side are all overhanging by one inch and you'll see up here as well. Okay, um, I don't have it set up where you can specify an overhang on one specific side or the other. Uh, at some point I may consider that, um, but currently the overhang is kind of a global setting. All right, um, so yeah, we've covered rotation, offsetting, and overhanging. Uh, materials, again, standard sort of thing. You've got all your materials plus all the ones in the custom library. So we could go pressure treated. We probably do pressure treated on this. Um, yeah, and that's pretty standard. And then, of course, you've got your board spacing. Now, the board spacing is not the center to center spacing. It actually is the gap in between the boards. So, like, for instance, if we set this, and I don't know why you would, let's just try one inch, and you can see you've got a one inch spacing. But yeah, quarter inch is probably pretty typical for most decks, but um, and that's why I have that as a default setting. And then of course your board width, you know, um, you know, put in whatever standard lumber size you want here, and you can adjust accordingly. So, anyways, that's uh, about it for boards. Uh, fairly simple. I mean, there's a quite a few parameters here that you can adjust to customize things how you like. Um, but I think it gives you everybody enough flexibility to get the deck uh, that they want to get um, constructed. So, all right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you.